this episode of the Bell Engine Project, I make the side rails for the frame. For this I'm using steel square bar, recycled from some old railing I was given. I used a carbide insert base mill to clean up the faces of the bar. The steel was a little harder than expected, and you can see the glowing chips coming off the base mill. Next, I switched over to a roughing end mill. I then reduced the bar's thickness. You'll notice here I'm using the power feed on the table of the mill for the repetitive cuts. The side rails I'm making have an angle profile, so I'm cutting out the inside material with the roughing end mill. At this point I could remove the excess material from the centre of the bar leaving tabs at either end. I then TIG welded 3mm steel plate extensions onto the remaining tabs to form the final height. After that I could weld in end caps. I left the tabs at either end oversized so I could drill holes to form the curved corners which I'm doing here on the drill press. Then I could cut away the excess material using a hacksaw. I then used hand files for finishing. Part then needed threaded holes in either end for fixing to the buffer beams. I did this in the drill press with the part hanging through the centre hole in the table vertically. This is where a floor standing drill press really comes in handy.
As in the last episode, I used the spring loaded tapping guide. As the drill press doesn't have a quill lock, I had to tap one handed, holding the quill down with the other. This seemed to work fine. Then the parts were ready for assembly with the frame. For this, I used M3 dome headed hex screws. And there we have it, frame with the side rails attached. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.